Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, today is going to be a very special video. This will be my 2018 movie collection. I'm very excited to film this video for you guys. It has been, you know, a year since my last one. I've gotten quite a lot of stuff since last year. Uh, some new TV shows, uh, some new 4Ks, and obviously some more Blu-rays and DVDs. So I'm going to be showing off everything. Blu-rays, DVDs, 4Ks, all of that will be in this video. Uh, I, I do kind of... Um, separate my movies. I go Disney DVDs first, then Disney Blu-rays, Pixar films, uh, was it box sets, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the DC Cinematic Universe, uh, Steelbooks, Blu-rays, and then DVDs. The Fortes are mixed in with the Blu-rays, if in case you guys were wondering. Um, but yeah, so Blu-rays mostly will come first, but there will be some DVDs kind of sprinkled in with the... There will be some Blu-rays kind of sprinkled in with the DVDs, um, just kind of, you know, one movie, you know, First movie in a series is DVD, and then the second is Blu-ray. Blu uh, that will be in, within the DVDs, but a lot of the Blu-rays will come uh, first, so you guys won't get bored uh, for the first, you know, 40 minutes of this video, because I do have quite a lot of DVDs, um, but I am definitely beefing up the uh, Blu-ray collection, because, I mean, Blu-ray is fantastic. Um, so yeah, let's just go right ahead uh, into this movie collection. I'm going to start off with TV shows first. Um... And they're, I kind of place them weird, so it might be a bit, it might be a struggle to get some of these. Uh, but first off, we have Community. Uh, we have the complete first season. Uh, season 2. Uh, was the Season 3, as well as Season 4. Haven't seen the show yet, but I've heard a lot of really good things about that. Uh, and next up, oh boy, we have Stargate SG-1. Uh, the complete series, uh, as well as the uh, Stardate movie. Um, so it's, what is it, seasons 1 through 10. All of it right here, I'm not going to go through each case because that's just boring. Um, but yeah, seasons 1 through 10, I'm pretty sure this is the complete series of Stargate SG-1. So, pretty cool. And let's see, we'll go over here. Then we have uh, Moonlighting, seasons 1 through 4. Uh, my dad... Uh, talks about the show fairly regular regularly. Um, I think this is I think this is one of his favorite shows uh, from when he was younger. So looking forward to checking it out at some point. And then this is one of my childhood favorite TV shows, uh, The Batman. All five seasons, really cool. Haven't revisited them, but I'd love to uh, at some point. Um, and then we'll go over here. I've got I've actually got some uh, star three Star Date TV shows. Uh, star Jade. Blech. Star Trek The Next Generation. I don't know what I was trying to say. Uh, this actually isn't mine. This is my dad's. He's more of a Trekkie than I am. Um, and then we've got uh, Star Trek Voyager, the complete series. Really cool. Uh, you don't want to see her face throughout the entire video. And then here's the other one. Uh, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, the complete series. Look at that box art. Really cool. Um, let's throw that back there too. And then we've got Seinfeld. Let's see if I can get all the seasons over here. Get over here. Um, alrighty. Uh, so we've got the complete series of Seinfeld seasons 1 through 9. Haven't checked out the show yet, but I, I've got to at some point. Because it's one of the top rated uh, TV shows, and it just seems awesome. And then, I'll, oh, I also forgot to show this off. Also with the Star Trek movies, I have the Star Trek original crew movie collection. So... Uh, the Motion Picture, Wrath of Khan, Search for Spock, The Voyage Home, The Final Frontier, and The Undiscovered Country. So all those films in this really cool box set. Um, it's nice to have that uh, within the collection. And let's go over here. Um, this is this used to be uh, my dad's, you know, this was one of my dad's favorite shows. Uh, DuckTales, Volumes 1 through 3. Um, I don't think they released Volume 4, but uh, at least we've got a lot of cool DuckTales. So, uh, that's really cool. Gotta check that out, because I, again, hear good things about that. Uh, next up, we have The Adventures of Young Indiana Jones. All three volumes uh, was uh, The Adventures of Young Indiana Jones. Uh, volume 2, The War Years. Excuse me, had a little hiccup. And then Volume 3, The Years of Change. So, really cool. Gotta check those out at some point as well. Here, I gotta raise the camera a bit. You know, I'm I'm not gonna go big into um, editing this video. It's just 
I'm too lazy. I, I can't do that. Um, so if things are shaky and if, you know, stuff happens, we'll see if I edit it out. But, yeah, I really don't want to edit this video because it is quite long. Um, so with whatever happens on this, we'll probably be live. Alrighty. And then, um, last for the, uh, well, not last for the DVDs, but, um, one of the last things is The Office, along with, uh, this The Office Overtime, um, digital short collection. Guys, I love The Office. Uh, this is my, I'm watching it again. Uh, it's my sixth time, sixth time through the show, and I just can't get enough of this show. It is so darn funny. Um, just the adventure you take through all nine seasons. Um, is fantastic. I've only got seasons one through seven. Still can't find seasons eight and nine. Um, but again, such a good show. I love this. Um, and yeah, it just sticks with you for the rest of your life. It is so good. So we'll no, we'll not stick that there. We'll we'll stick it down here. Alrighty. And then the last little stack for uh, TV shows. Uh, we got. Chuck, season five, just a random season. Uh, then we got Firefly, the complete series, as well as uh, Serenity. And then here are my uh, Blu-ray TV shows. First one we got is uh, America's National Treasures, the complete 12-volume series. I uh, got this at Goodwill for like $3. Really cool find. Next up, we have Heroes, season one. Really good show. Um, I got to watch it again, though. Um, but yeah, from what I remember, this was a really good show. So I'm going to watch that again. I think the final and probably favorite um, release out of the bunch, Stranger Things Season 1. Awesome release. Awesome show. Still haven't checked it out on Blu-ray yet, but I'm going to have to do that at some point real soon because I'd love to watch it again. So that was it for all the TV shows. I'm going to put those over here because I'm getting in my way. Alrighty. Um, and maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, let's get on with uh, the actual movies. Um, so we'll start out, I display, I display two, uh, releases. Um, I do display The Hunger Games Catching Fire, my one and only digibook. Um, just doesn't really fit well in my collection. It is a Blu-ray, but it's, you know, it's the size of a DVD, not the size of a Blu-ray. Um, but I, I display that. And then I also display this bad boy, the James Bond collection, all 24 films. Really cool release. Love that thing. Alrighty, let's go right ahead. So let's start out with the Disney DVDs. I'm not going to go into full detail with each title. That would be just a very, very long movie. Uh, but let's just hop right in. We've got Alice in Wonderland. Beauty and the Beast. Let's see, there we go. Bedtime Stories. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought it was good, and then I bought the DVD, and I was like, yeah, that's not good. Chicken Little, very underrated movie. I love this movie. It's, it's a lot of fun to watch. Cinderella. Uh, Disney Nature Earth, really, really great documentary. I, I'd love to get more Disney Nature uh, documentaries. Then we have The Haunted Mansion. Yeah, pretty stupid. Then we have Hercules, one of my Disney favorites. Really great movie. Then we've got The Kid. This is actually Disney. It is a Disney DVD. It says on, so on the spine. Lilo and Stitch, one of my childhood favorites. I loved this movie. Then we've got The Lion King, such a good movie. And then we've got The Lion King One and a Half. Still haven't seen One and a Half. One and a Half, uh, but I will at some point. Then we've got The Little Mermaid, pretty underrated. This is probably one of my favorite Disney movies. Uh, yeah, really great. And then this is actually uh, very, very new. Uh, Meet the Robinsons, the newest DVD in my collection. Uh, I don't remember too much from this movie, but I, I remember having a good time from when I was a kid. Uh, then we've got National Treasure and National T Tre National Treasure 2, uh, Book of Secrets. This one I don't care so much for, but this one is a lot of fun to watch. Um, so I only really like the first one. Newsies, really great musical. Uh, then we've got Peter Pan. And Phineas and Ferb, the movie Across the Second Dimension. So that's it for... One of the piles that we've got, uh, I'll just show all four of these. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 1 through 4, uh, Curse of the Black Pearl, uh, Dead Man's Chest, At World's End, and On Stranger Tides. Remember the Titans? I gotta watch this movie again because this was a really good movie and I'd love to see it again. 
Robin Hood, another one of my personal favorites. Then we've got The Santa Claus and The Santa Claus 2. And they're okay movies. Um, I, I watch them every year, though. Uh, Tangled. Tarzan. Really, really good movie. And Tron Legacy, the last of the Disney DVDs. And now on to Disney Blu-rays. Aladdin, this being my personal favorite uh, Disney movie. Love this movie. We've got Bolt. Dumbo. Now, Dumbo, I just recently rewatched this movie, and oh my goodness, I love it. It's only 60, 64 minutes long. It is a very short movie, but its message is very simplistic. It tells it very simply, but it's so empowering. I just love this movie. It's really good. Um, then we got Frozen. Into the Woods, pretty underrated, but I completely understand why people don't like the last... What was it 45 minutes of the film? To be honest, I don't really like those last 45 minutes, but that first hour, 15 minutes or so, so darn good. Very good musical. I love it. Then we've got The Jungle Book. It it was it was good, um, but it wasn't as good as people were saying it was back then. Mary Poppins, really great movie. Then we've got Moana. Uh, I got the 3D. Uh, was it the 3D Blu-ray cover instead of the 2D because I just love this artwork even more. Uh, then the 2D one, then just the regular Blu-ray one, and then Planes. Now, let's see, where are the other ones? Where are the other ones go? Is that it? Where could they have gone? Okay, well, I think, is this it? No, that's not it. Well, that happened. Oh, wait. Um, is that what happened? I think, okay. Okay, I think we're good now. Yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the, the signature collection release. Uh, then we've got Tomorrowland. Uh, pretty, pretty, it's a good movie. I remember loving this movie, and now it's like, yeah, It's fine, I can watch it. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph, and Zootopia. Really great Disney film. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, I think, okay, we're good now, okay, we're good, sorry about what happened earlier, uh, now we're on to Pixar films, again, love Pixar, they will always have a soft spot in my heart, just, some of the greatest movies are in that, are, you know, from Pixar, and just, I adore Pixar, uh, Toy Story, A Bug's Life, very underrated, I love the ending, um, like, at, uh, battle scene with, um, uh, against the ants and the grasshoppers. Really empowering. Uh, I like that scene. Then we've got Toy Story 2. Uh, personally, my favorite out of the trilogy. Monsters, Inc. Such a good movie. Finding Nemo, my personal favorite Pixar film. I adore Finding Nemo. I love the score, the animation, the characters. It all It's all so good. I love it. Then we got The Incredibles. Personally, don't hate me. Bit overrated, but I still love this movie. Fantastic superhero movie, and I cannot wait for um, uh, for the for Incredibles two. Next we up, next up we got Cars. This is the Disney Movie Club exclusive uh, slipcover. Uh, even the casing is you know uh, the same, but yeah, really cool slipcover. Uh, definitely glad I have that on Blu-ray. Next up we got Ratatouille. I really gotta get this on Blu-ray. Um, just because I need it on Blu-ray, and I, it, it'll look good on Blu-ray, without a doubt. Wally. -E. Up. Up. Personally, I love this movie. A lot of people kind of throw hate at, you know, after the whole Ellie and Carl montage, which, by the way, just rips my heart. Uh, but there's so many moments throughout the rest of the movie where it just tugs at my heartstrings um, when Carl has had to let things go, but a lot of people don't really like that. I don't really get it. I think it's masterful. It's a masterpiece. Toy Story 3, really good movie. Cars 2, I like it. I don't hate it, but it's definitely the weakest uh, Pixar film. And also kind of another weak Pixar film, Brave, but I still really like the movie. Monsters University, really, really underrated Pixar film. I love the college aspect of this. The animation is great. The score is great. And I love the late scene uh, towards the end of the film. Uh, such such a good scene. 
Uh, next up we got Inside Out, awesome movie, love it. And then The Good Dinosaur, I've said this before, but The Good Dinosaur is just freaking amazing. I love this movie so much. I've got a full-size poster of that movie. It's beautiful, it's made me cry. I love this movie. I don't get the hate, but it's, it's amazing. And then we've got Finding Dory, also very underrated. Um, the store in this movie is Pixar's best store. It makes me tear up every time I hear it. Really great. Alrighty. Next up. Next up we got Cars 3, the latest Pixar film to be released on um, Blu-ray. Uh, this is easily my favorite out of the Cars franchise. I think they definitely got it right um, with what the Cars movie should be about. It looks phenomenal on Blu-ray. And yeah, just a great movie all around. I'm going to try to move those over there. All right. And then, uh, finally, for the Pixar films, we got the Pixar Short Films Collection, Volume 1. All right, now on to box sets. Back to the Future Trilogy, my favorite movies of all time. Personally, I think this is all one movie because it is, you know, in different parts, but it technically is all one movie. I uh, really like this movie. I uh, really love these movies. Again, my favorites of all time. I love those movies. Then we got the Batman 4 film favorites, um, which is Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman and Robin, all on Blu-ray. And all of the discs have disc art, with the exception of Batman, the best one. That was nice of them. And then next up we got Planet of the Apes Legacy Collection. The only one I really like in this movie is the first one. The other ones I can just kind of yeah, watch. Um, but this is a really cool release of it, just the box art. Um, and just the whole casing. Uh, it, it was a really good release. I think I got this for like $15 at Black Friday. It was a steal for this set, but yeah. Um, some, you know, the first Planet of the Apes movie, really great. And then we have Rocky, the heavyweight collection. Now, I just recently figured this out, but I took off the J card and looked at the back. It just looks amazing. I, I, my, my, my mind was blown when I found that out. And then we've got, uh, Star Wars, the original trilogy, episodes 4, 5, and 6. I gotta get episodes 1, 2, and 3 because my DVDs just re just recently um, stopped working. Um, but yeah, Star Wars, the original trilogy. Alright, that was it for the box sets. Let's move on to the MCU. First up, we got Iron Man. I really gotta get this on Blu-ray because I think this is one of the best MCU films and one of the best superhero films. Really great movie, and yeah, I gotta get it on Blu-ray at some point. Then we've got The Incredible Hulk. Iron Man 2, Captain America the First Avenger, really great movie, a lot of people trying to throw hate at it. Uh, the Avengers, pretty overrated, uh, it's fine, but I don't love it. Iron Man 3, pretty underrated, uh, I really like this film, production design is great. Um, yeah, Captain America Winter Soldier, awesome movie, what else can I say? Guardians of the Galaxy, again, very awesome film, love it. Avengers Age of Ultron, definitely better than Avengers. Ant-Man, not really rewatchable. I've tried to watch it. I've tried to rewatch this film a few times, but I, I can just never watch it again. Captain America Civil War, a bit overrated, but still love the movie. And then we've got Doctor Strange. That was it for that pile. Now over here. There we go. Let me move this. Whoa. Alright, just kind of moving some piles back. Alright, I, do, I don't want uh, what happened last year to happen again this year where all the movies just swamp piled in the room. Um, don't want that to happen again. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, really, really fun movie. I have a lot of fun watching it. It's not perfect, but yeah. Then we've got Spider Man Homecoming, have this on 4K. Really great movie, definitely my favorite Spider Man film. I think they definitely got it right with the whole um, teenage uh, high school setting, and he was actually in high school. Like, the other ones, he was in high school for, like, the first year, and then whatever, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it, great movie. I love it. Then, moving on to the uh, DCEU, uh, Man of Steel. It was good. It wasn't, you know, bad, but it, it was good. Batman v Superman. <laughs> it, well, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. Suicide Squad. It's fun, but that's really it. And then Wonder Woman on 4K. Now moving on to Steelbooks. Uh, we got Big Hero 6. This Steelbook is my most damaged, as you can hear. 
you know, it's been through some stuff and there's some wear on the back. But, I mean, I still have the movies, so uh, there's nothing to go around with that. Uh, my latest Steelbook pickup of Batman Begins. Just look at the back, guys. Just look at it. Such a cool, such a cool release. Then we got The Dark Knight on Steelbook. Uh, my second favorite film of all time. Love this film. It is so good. Then we have the new Ghostbusters film, 2016. Pretty underrated. I have a lot of fun watching this film, but I definitely get why a lot of people hate it. Um, but I love this pop art steelbook. Just look at it. Really cool. Even the disc is, you know, of that pop art. Really cool uh, steelbook. And then my first steelbook I got, Inception. Really great movie. Then we got Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. I don't watch this film again. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, uh, great movie from what I remember. Uh, Super 8, another uh, recent Steelbook pickup. Uh, Space Jam. Uh, I got this for $10, and people apparently don't really like this movie. Uh, kind of regretting buying it for $10 now, but I gotta watch the film still, or watch it again, because it's been a while. And then Star Trek Beyond. Uh, I love the bat to this. Just look at that. Looks really cool. So that was it for the Steelbooks. Now let's move on to Blu-rays. 10 Cloverfield Lane. 42, The Jackie Robinson Story. Personally, my favorite uh, sports film. Love that film. 2001, A Space Odyssey, a must stone for all movie collections. And Arrival. Re uh, recently watched this film for the first time. Really good movie, but I do have to watch it again, though, because I feel like I missed some parts of that film. All right, we've got The Artist. Uh, I, this is actually a pretty underrated movie, but it might not be underrated. Um, I've got to watch it again. Uh, Australia. Avatar, the very first Blu-ray uh, that started off this Blu-ray collection. Beetlejuice, really, really fun movie. Big, uh, great movie. The Boss Baby, yeah, I own that movie, guys. Uh, Bridge of Spies. Captain Phillips, really great movie, uh, really good thriller. Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. Castaway. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, really great movie. Kind of underrated, actually. A lot of people don't talk about it, but great movie. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Coraline. Creed. The Dark Knight Rises. I'd get this on Steelbook, because I've got, uh, what is it, Batman Begins and The Dark Knight on Steelbook. So eventually this will get replaced with uh, the Steelbook of it. Uh, recent 4K pickup, uh, Dunkirk. Really Really good movie. Looks amazing on 4K. Uh, what is this? Edge of Tomorrow. Not Lived, I Repeat. Edge of Tomorrow. Ender's Game. Another recent E.T. Another recent 4K pickup, E.T. I actually got this as a uh, Christmas present. Um, but, you know, recent 4K. Um, what I got, whatever. Uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. One of my favorites of all time. Such a good movie. Fences, and The Founder. Very interesting movie. I, I like watching this movie. Alrighty. We got Freebirds. This is just a disposable Thanksgiving movie. There's nothing else you can really do about it. Put that closer. Uh, Godzilla. Great thriller. Gone with the Wind with this gold slip cover. Uh, really great release and a really great movie. The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, and The Battle of the Five Armies. Then we got Home Alone, probably my favorite Christmas film. Really do enjoy watching that every year. Then we've got The Hunger Games, uh, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 and Part 2. Then we've got uh, all five, there we go, all five Ice Age films. Uh, Ice Age, Ice Age The Meltdown, Dawn of the Dinosaurs, uh, Continental Drift, and Collision Course. Gotta watch those sometime because it's been a while. Uh, the Imitation Game. Uh, Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, and The Last Crusade. Some of the greatest movies ever made. Interstellar. Beautiful, beautiful movie. I really want to pick up the 4K at some point because it, it looks amazing on Blu-ray and it's going to look even better on 4K. Without a doubt. The Iron Giant. Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, the only Jurassic Park films you need to own on Blu-ray. Push those aside. 
Next up, we got La La Land. It just, gosh, this movie is so good. Uh, looks amazing on 4K, and yeah, I just, I just love this movie. It's so good. Uh, we have Lego Batman the movie, DC Superheroes Unite, and then the Lego Batman movie. It's really hard to get those two. It, it, I get those two mixed up all the time. Uh, Lincoln. What is this? Uh, Live Free or Die Hard. The Lorax. The Magnificent Seven. I heard some uh, really fun things about this movie. It's a fun movie. I uh, haven't seen it yet, though. Definitely got to check it out. The Martian. Uh, Mission Impossible Ghost, Ghost Protocol. This is a bit overrated, but I feel like I should watch it again. Uh, then we have Nonstop, a uh, really fun action film. I've I watched this a few times, and yeah, oh, I almost dropped it. Uh, yeah, fun movie. Uh, the guy who directed this is uh, is directing The Commuter, which is coming out next month. Looking forward to checking that out. Uh, now You See Me, great uh, great film. The concept, just the whole plot is uh, really unique and original. The Peanuts movie is such a good animated movie. I feel like this is a bit underrated. Um, it's one of my favorite animated films. It is so good. It definitely lives up to the whole Peanuts, you know, the old fans of the uh, Peanuts, uh, like the Peanuts comics. Then another recent 4K pickup, The Prestige. Really great movie. Then we got Rango, uh, Red Riding Hood, and then we've got Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Dawn of the Plan of the Apes, and War for the Plan of the Apes. Uh, this one on 4K, these two just being regular Blu-ray. Uh, gotta watch War for the Plan of the Apes again. Um, just, I wanna watch that movie again. Uh, Robots. Rogue One, A Star Wars Story. Such a good looking movie on Blu-ray. Uh, yeah, just looks amazing on Blu-ray. Say Anything, pretty underrated film. A lot more people gotta check this film out. And Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, such a fun movie. Next up, we got The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, a very underrated film. A lot more people got to seek this one out and appreciate it even more. Uh, then we got Sherlock Holmes and Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. Seen a really great animated movie from uh, recent years. I love all the music in it, and it's, it's just a fun movie. Got the Smurfs. Not going to say anything else. Split. Such a good movie. James McAvoy better get nominated for that Oscar because in this movie... Amazing, just such a good movie. I think this movie is perfect. Definitely one of it, one of Shyamalan's best films. It's on par with the Sixth Sense. Just love this film. Uh, Star Wars: The Force Awakens, awesome movie. Sully, uh, Tal Taladega Knights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. Took me a while to figure that out. Uh, Taken, Taken Two, and Taken Three. Then we've got The Walk. Uh, we Bought a Zoo, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, one of my all-time favorite movies, uh, my favorite musical, gosh, I, I love this movie, it's so good. Uh, the Wizard of Oz, and finally, World War Z. So that was it for all the Blu-rays, now let's head, head on over to the DVDs. Again, some Blu-rays will be mixed in here as well. We have nine. Twelve Angry Men, very, very good movie. One of my all-time favorite films. I've seen this film countless times. Very good film. 500 Days of Summer. And 1941. Move that bet there. Nope, nope, not that pile. Here we go. Alright, The Abyss. The Adventures of Tintin. Uh, a lead of their own. Alex and Emma, uh, an American Tale family double feature. It also includes Five Old Goes West, The Angry Birds Movie, Apollo 13, Bandits, uh, the original 60s Batman movie. <laughs> so cheesy, so corny, but I love it. It is so good. And Batman Gotham Knight. Uh, what is this? Bed of Roses? B-movie, now just a classic meme. Uh, what is this? Uh, Benny and June. Uh, Beverly Hills Ninja. It's Dr. Chris Farley. 
Uh, the Movie Weekend 4 feature films, which includes Big, I've already got that on Blu-ray, Garfield the Movie, Home Alone 2, and The Sandlot. Billy Madison. Uh, Blades of Glory. I have not seen this film, but the cast is like the best cast ever. Will Ferrell, uh, John Heater, he plays Napoleon Dynamite. Jenna Fisher from The Office. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, Amy Poehler from Parks and Recreation. Just an all-star cast. I can't wait to watch this film. Uh, the Bridge uh, on the River Kwai. Bridge on the River Kwai. Man, that's, that's a hard movie to pronounce. All right, then we've got Indiana Jones, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. We don't have to say anything about that film. Uh, I, Robot. The Island. It, I've seen the first half of this film, and it was actually really good, but I've heard that the second half isn't nearly as good. Uh, the Italian Job. And uh, Jack Frost. Jaws. I just love this cover. It's plain. There's no, you know, uh, quotes or cast. It's just plain with its title. Very cool artwork. I do die it on Blu-ray, though. Um, but I have a digital copy, which is HD enough. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. Just re recently watched this, and it was a really good movie. Uh, Jerusalem, a uh, documentary. We've got the Jurassic Park trilogy. The Karate Kid collection with the reboot Karate Kid, and then Karate Kid, Karate Kid 2, and the Karate Kid Part 3. Uh, then we've got all three Country Panda films. It's been a while since I've seen the second one, but uh, some really great animated films in there. Uh, the Land Before Time. I got this uh, Kevin James three movie collection with Here Comes the Boom, Paul Blart Mall Cop, and Zookeeper. I really only got it from Mall Cop because that is a hilarious movie. It's terrible, but I love it. Uh, the Lead of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, Legally Blonde. I'm getting pretty tired, guys. Uh, the Lego Movie. The Lord of the Rings Trilogy. Kind of overrated. I'm sorry. Kind of overrated, but I will be watching those movies again at some point. Uh, then we've got all three Madagascar films. Also some really great animated films in there. Uh, it's a mad, 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 mad world. Uh, the Man from Uncle. Uh, the Man Who Knew Too Little. Whoa. Dropped it. March of the Penguins. The Master of Zorro and The Legend of Zorro. The Master of Disguise. Such a terrible movie, but I love it. The Maze Runner double feature set, which includes the first one and the Storch Trials. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. I feel like a lot more people should check this film out. Um, I It was a great movie the first time I saw it. Haven't seen it again, but I got the DVD, so I will be at some point. Megamind. And Men in Black. Men in Black 3. <laughs> Definitely need that on Blu-ray. Uh, Midnight in Paris, Minority Report, Miss Congeniality, the first three Mission Impossible films, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, still haven't seen this film, really gotta check it out at some point, The Monuments Men, and what is this movie, The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones, The Mummy with uh, Brendan Fraser, my Big Fat Greek Wedding. Uh, my My Blue Heaven. Mystery Mystery Men. The Naked Gun. One of my all-time favorite movies, Napoleon Dynamite. Love this film. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Still have yet to watch this film. And Night at the Museum and Night at the Museum Secret of the Tomb. Some great movies there. I like the first one, not the third one so much, but I got him. Alrighty. North by Northwest. Just put it back over there. The Nut Job. Uh, Oceans 11 and 12 and 13. October Sky. I actually met the guy who uh, designed the rockets for this film. A uh, really great guy. I actually got to tour his house, which was pretty cool. Uh, Oliver with an exclamation point. Over the Hedge, Pearl Harbor, The Pelican Brief, 
The Pink Panther, The Polar Express, really great movie. The Power of One, my dad's favorite film, and also kind of underrated, really great film. From the director of, uh, what is it, Rocky and the Karate Kid, so you definitely know he's uh, got some talent behind him. The Princess Bride, The Pursuit of Happiness, Reign of Fire, Rio and Rio 2, Rise of the Guardians, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Uh, was this Romancing the Stone? Rox Roxanne. Rush Hour and Rush Hour Two. Uh, Scrooged. The Secret Life of Pets. The Secret of Nim. Didn't, didn't know what that title was. Uh, Shanghai Noon. Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Shrek Two. Signs, another Shyamalan film I still have yet to see. The Sixth Sense, awesome movie, great thriller. The Stoles, I hear this is a uh, very good Illuminati film, so looking forward to checking that out. Sleepless in Seattle. The Social Network, I love this movie. Very great dialogue, just a very interesting movie to watch. I get something new out of it every time I watch it. So I Married an Axe Murderer. The Sound of Music. And Sam Raimi's Spider-Man Trilogy, but where's the third one? There it is. Sam Raimi's uh, Spider-Man Trilogy. And then we'll bring this one over. Uh, then we got the Amazing Spider-Man films. This one is alright. I don't I don't think this is too bad, but this one, oh boy. Terrible. <laughs> we'll just put it there. Spies Like Us. Spirit. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Uh, Star Trek First Contact and Star Trek Nemesis. Then we've got the two new Star Trek films, just the original Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness. The Stepford Wives. Uh, what is this? Stranger Than Fiction. I feel like I keep saying what is this every time I uh, see a movie. Uh, Stuart Little and Stuart Little 2. The Superman 4 Film Favorites Collection. With Superman, Superman 2, Superman 3, and Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. So I've yet to see those films, but I'm looking forward to checking those out. Superman Returns. SWAT. Sweet Home Alabama and The Terminal. All four of the Bourne films, uh, Identity, Supremacy, Ultimatum, and Legacy. I own Jason Bourne as a digital copy. We got Bruce Almighty and Evan Almighty. Or wait, Bruce Almighty, Evan Almighty. Did I, did I do that right? I think I did that right. Wait, hang on. Something happened. Okay, well, uh, that completely went out of alphabetical order from what I just realized. Shoot. Well, darn it, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing this again, so we're just going to keep going. The Bucket List. Bullet, really got to see this movie film. I hear it's really great. The Incredible Burt Wonderstone. Uh, Catch Me If You Can. Charade. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Or, not Willy Wonka, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Sorry. Uh, Cheaper by the Dozen 2. Chicken Run. A Christmas Story. Uh, City Slickers and Slitty's City Slickers 2, The Legend of Curly's Gold. Cloverfield. Jeez. I'm a mess, guys. And Clue the Movie. Really don't like that release. I will say that. Alright. Contact. The Corpse Bride. Cowboys and Aliens. Crocodile Dundee 2. Don't, still don't own the first one. Uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. The Cutting Edge. Daredevil. Uh, the Da Vinci Code. The Day the Earth Stood Still. Dead Poets Society. The Dead Sea Scrolls. 
Despicable Me and Despicable Me 2. I personally I prefer the second one. Diary of Wimpy Kid, Diary of Wimpy Kid, Roger Rules, and Dog Days. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, and Dolphin Tail. We've got Dragnet, Edward Scissorhands, Elf, I love this movie, so good. Epic, dropped it again. Uh, Evita. Fantastic Four and Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. All eight mm, uh, Fast and the Furious films. Yep. All eight right there on DVD. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I gotta watch this film again because I've only seen it once. Uh, First Night. Fletch. And Flushed Away. The Forbidden Kingdom, Forrest Gump, still have yet to watch this film, I gotta watch it at some point, Footloose, uh, The Fountain, The Fugitive, and the sequel, U.S. Marshals, Garfield's Pet Force in 3D, <laughs> really fun movie, Get Smart, and Ghostbusters 1 and 2, don't really care for the second one. Ghost Rider, Gone in 60 Seconds, The Goonies, really fun mo movie, The Great Outdoors, excuse me, I had a little hiccup, uh, Gremlins, Groundhog Day, Happy Gilmore, and, excuse me, I'm having another hiccup, and all of the Wizarding World films, so all of the Harry Potter films as well as Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Got all those. We have The Hobbit, the original animated film, and uh, Desolation of Smog. Hop. Horton Hears a Who. How to Train Your Dragon and How to Train Your Dragon 2. Hugo. The Hunt for Red October, I Am Legend, Independence Day, and Independence Day Resurgence. Yes, I do own the second one. Do I ever plan on watching it? Probably. Will I regret it? Yes. All right. Coming down to the final films. All right. Three Amitos, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Terminator Salvation, Laura Croft Tomb Raider, uh, Tommy Boy, Top Gun, all of the Transformers films, including the newest one, with the exception of Age of Extinction. So we got all those. The Truman Show, and yeah, all the all the Twilight films. I didn't get those. My dad did. Uh, two U2 films, uh, Rattle and Hum, and The Joshua Tree. Uh, U-57-1. Last pile, guys. Alright. Unbreakable. Really gotta check this film out. Just recently got it. Uncle Buck. Uh, Lemony Snicket. A series of unfortunate events. The Village. Also another Sean Wong film I gotta check out. Walk the Line. Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> Wallace and Gromit. Curse of the Were-Rabbit. And a grand day out. War for the Worlds. The Wedding Planner. The Wedding Singer. What about Bob? Uh, what dreams may come? Uh, who's Harry Crumb? And uh, the original X Men trilogy. X Two: The Last Stand. Uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine, I don't have a proper case for that. And then the new trilogy, so First Class, Days of Future Past, and Apocalypse. There you guys go. That was my complete 2018 movie collection. Uh, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, watching this. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of movies I should get on Blu-ray or DVD, just let me know in the comments section of this video. Uh, I will be having more videos coming out soon. A movie tour, a movie room, a movie room tour will be coming out. 
Um, I'm looking forward to that. And probably a uh, Funko Pop collection, because I haven't done that in a little bit. So, hey guys, again, that does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.